Real-world evidence is a phrase you hear a great deal today. And that is because people have begun to realise, rightly so, how important it is because it complements very nicely and very critically the evidence base that we get from clinical trials. Clinical trial data are important because they advance our access to new drugs, um, provide the basis for licensing. But in essence, if I was to sum it up, I would say that clinical trial evidence is perfect data on an imperfect group of patients. And the patients are imperfect because they are highly selected, they have to meet inclusion and exclusion criteria, and critically this excludes all patients with non-secretory myeloma, and this group can be up to 15% of newly diagnosed patients. It also excludes patients whose laboratory parameters don't meet certain quite strict guidelines and also um, frail patients. But these are the real patients in the real world. So real world data, on the other hand, is imperfect data because it is not collected according to the, the rigor of scientific trials, but it is imperfect data on a perfect group of patients and the patients perfect and by virtue of their being heterogeneous. So there are many sources of real world data we can look to. We can look to registries, we can look to prospective cohort collections, there are also chart reviews and, and targeted retrospective series of patients treated with say a particular novel uh, drug like daratumumab or pomalidomide. And many of these have now been published over the last few years and, they, and the data are critical for, for many reasons. They are critical for uh, health reimbursement discussions because of course we actually need to understand what the true benefit of new drugs is in the real world, how long patients actually do stay on treatment and also importantly what the treatment and survival trajectory of patients is after they have been on this new drug. And all that sort of information is not really captured on clinical trials. Another important piece of information from real world evidence is the way in which treatments of major classes of drugs are sequenced um, for di different sorts of patients and the course and nature of patient journeys. This is important not just for health care reimbursement discussions, but also for physicians and patients to understand what might be the implication of taking a treatment choice early on in the pathway and selecting a particular drug or regimen versus reserving it for use later on in relapsed myeloma. One other important bit of information that real-world evidence gives us is the as an understanding of the treatment and disease burden of patients. Clinical trial evidence is particularly poor at capturing this because it looks at patients during the time they're on this interventional trial and it captures, can capture very nicely quality of life data, um, adverse events and toxicity, but it doesn't a clinical trial information doesn't include the totality of patient experience, the treatment and disease burden further along in the pathway and also prior to receiving the drug.